The selection committee was given the difficult task of choosing award recipients from a very talented and committed group of nominees. The committee selected recipients in the following categories. Professional leadership and literacy, volunteer service, youth volunteer service, and the chemical literacy learner. Your Honour, please join me on the stage for the presentations. And finally, we come to the category where we honor the individual who has demonstrated exceptional commitment to literacy development and devotion to give back to their community. Every year since 1997, the Chemical Corporation has generously donated a bursary to the Literacy Learner Award recipient. This year's 2022 Chemical Literacy Learner Award and $1,000 bursary is presented to Ms. Hong Allen Wren from Regina. Hong Wren um, who goes by Alan in English, came here in December 2018 with her husband and two children in the hope that her family would have a better living environment. Her third child was born in Regina in 2020. Alan knew that starting a new life could be difficult, so she set goals. Learn English and the culture here with her children, integrate as soon as possible, and be a good example to her children. Alan attended classes through the Regina Open Door Society until she went to Moose Jaw to help her husband run a small business. There, she continued learning through apps and at church from her new friends. During the pandemic, Regina Public Library started online tutoring, and Alan joined to continue learning English. Inspired by her teachers, Alan found her new career direction to work with children. Alan shifted from engineering in China um, took workplace training, and now works in a daycare and takes classes in early childhood education through Saskatchewan Polytechnic. Alan makes videos of the children's activities where she works. Children and parents both love these videos. As Alan says, I think my job is not only to educate children, but also to support the parents. My job can make more mothers feel more at ease to work. Alan also volunteers fostering puppies, taking care of children at church, and supporting other adult literacy learners through online videos of her newcomer experiences. Through these actions, she wants to thank the organizations and individuals in Regina who helped her so much. Alan also has other Canadian, oh, sorry, Alan also has other Canadian experience now. Her children are enrolled in community sports and hockey Regina. She participates with other mothers to support the program, standards, fundraise, and be a taxi service, as she says, I'm a hockey mom. <laughs> I invite Ms. Hong Allen Ren up to the stage to receive her work. Thank you. Your Honor, Ms. Marasti, members of the Saskatchewan Literacy Network. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am very honored to receive this award. Thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, they told me that if I feel nervous, I would not have to give speech. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but I have something to, to talk uh, right here, right now. What I want to say is thank you. Since my family came here three years ago, we, we have been receiving help from numerous organizations such as Agar Road Church, Regina Public Library, Open Door, Women's Center, Kids First, Kids Sport. And during this time, I also met many of my mentors and new friends. And until now, 
they still help me. <laughs> yes. Um, if, if without this help, I don't think my family can integrate the integrate new life here so quickly. I can't find my favorite job here in such a short time. So I really appreciate that. Uh, I found that my English level and my manners such uh, are similar to a child here. <laughs> yeah, four-year-old child. Because yeah, uh, I'm working with four-year four years old children, so I know them, and uh, they they can teach me, teach me English. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, it's not uh, it's not a bad thing. I still have lots to learn, and my new life here is very full. I'm very happy. I'm glad my family can move to here live. We love Canada. We love Regina. Mm. We will try our best to give back. Thank you again. Thank you.